Mr. Uh, Mayhew, nice of you to come down. Please. Oh, look at you. Should I uh, call the FBI and tell them I found D.B. Cooper? <laughs> Joking. I, uh, please, come on. Come on, please. <laughs> Hello. Saul Goodman, <clears throat> please sit. <sighs> so it's a shame that we have to meet under these circumstances. <clears throat> I believe you have something for me. Oh, yes. Mayhew, is that uh, Irish or English? Uh, Irish. Faith and Begora, a fellow potato eater. My real name's McGill. Yeah, the Jew thing I just do for the homeboys. They all want a pipe hitting member of the tribe, so to speak. I digress. Um, good things are happening. Fact is, your nephew is gonna get out in no time. That's wonderful. <laughs> There's still a few details to be ironed out, but now that the DEA is involved, I think he's looking at time served and probation. So, leave your number with Francesca and uh, we'll be in touch. Excuse me, the DEA? Yeah, that's the Drug Enforcement Administration, the feds. <sighs> I hope that I'm not the breaker of bad news, but your nephew got mixed up with some pretty nasty customers. I understand that, but what does that have to do with the DEA? And they're after some mystery man, some heavy hitter who goes by the name Heisenberg. They want this guy like the ax wants the turkey. Seems young Brandon may have some information that could lead to his arrest. Jesus, cheer up. Now, this is good news. I mean, Brandon fell headfirst into the doo-doo pile and came up smelling like Paco Rabanne. <laughs> Look, 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 I, I just, I think, I, I just think that we should review our options. Options? I'm, I'm gonna tell you what your options are, okay? And you got a grand total of two. Option A, Brandon takes the deal. Option B, Brandon goes up to the penitentiary and gets his rectum resized about yay big. Look, look, look what, what, what about reprisals? I mean, if, if Badger, if, if Brandon, informs on this Heisenberg. I mean, what if, God forbid, that they decide to take revenge? What have you been telling him? The kid keeps spouting off about, if, if I talk, they'll kill me, blah, blah, blah. You know, right now, he's the only thing holding up this deal. Good. No, that's not good. That's terrible. Uh, trust me, sir, your nephew won't last in prison two weeks, right? You let him take his chances on the outside. Maybe I can work in some witness protection. No, look, look, these, these are, are vicious, desperate people. I, 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 I've been told that, that one of them killed another man by crushing his head with an ATM machine. <laughs> people love to take credit for the fun ones. Yeah, the guy who got his head smushed used to be a client of mine. His wife killed him, all right? It was open and shut. Trust me, you folks have nothing to worry about, okay? I'm gonna set your nephew straight, get him singing like a canary, all's right with the world. saying to throw the case, just no talking to the DEA. Are you saying what I think you're saying? Yes. What's it going to be? <laughs> 